method and payment terminal serves different purpose in the context of payment processing in a business or retail environment. Let's explore each of them. A payment method refers to the way a customer chooses to pay for their purchases during a transaction. In the context of PY system like Odo, payment methods are defined and configured to provide various options for the customers to make payment. Some common payment includes cash, bank, checks, and electronic wallet. A payment terminal, also known as a credit card reader or a physical device used to process credit and debit card transactions securely. In the context of a retail or a POI system such as order point of sale module, a payment terminal can be connected to the system process card payments. When a customer chooses to pay with a credit or debit card, the transaction information is sent from the POI system to the payment terminal and the customer then inserts or swipes their cards and enter a PIN or provides a signature and the payment terminal communicates with the card issuer to authorize the transaction. So let's squeeze the knowledge of payment terminal and payment method in Odoo 16 point of sale. So let's get into the point of sale and under configuration menu we can configure the payment methods. So once you get into the payment methods here you can see all the payment methods that's created already with its name, journal and company. If you want to create a new one, just click on new button and here we are going to create a new payment method in order to configure under the point of sale. So let me give the payment uh, method name as, yeah, uh, Mastro. Okay. And if you want to identify the customer, which means uh, whenever you are using this payment method, if you are enabling identify customer, then it is mandatory to give the customer. So by setting the customer only, you, you could use this payment method. And here you can also choose a journal for this payment method. This shows all the transactions regarding the payment method, Mastro. And let me set uh, yeah outstanding uh, account as uh, outstanding payment. And after that, let me save this. Now we have to configure this payment method. So in order to configure this payment method in the shop, you just go to the configuration settings and let's pull down and you would be able to see an option of payment methods. And from here, you can choose the payment method you have just created. And this would let you to configure the payment method to the shop that you want to use. So. After that, we also need to set the payment terminal. So, Odo basically provide different payment terminals such as um, ADN, Vantiv, Stripe and Six. So, let me enable all the payment terminals and let's see how can we use that in point of sale. So, you can save everything and as we have enabled the developer mode here, you could see Vantiv configuration under the configuration settings, uh, I mean configuration menu. Uh, so yeah, here you can see Vantiv configuration. And let's see how can we uh, use this in the payment method. So for that, let's dive into the payment methods. And here you can choose a payment method. And as we have enabled the payment terminal, you can use a payment terminal. And currently we have different payment terminals over here. So uh, we have the payment terminal as uh, ADN and as you use that, you have to set uh, API key, then uh, ADN uh, terminal identifier uh, as well as ADN test mode. Okay. And if you are using it as Vantive here, you have to set the Vantive credentials and uh, here you also need to set uh, the I mean you can also set the payment terminal as uh, six would which would let you to set the terminal ID I mean IP and you can also set it as Stripe so if you're using Stripe as a payment terminal then you have to set the serial number of Stripe which is mandatory so here I'm going to use the Vantive as my uh, what yeah payment terminal and you can see that so here I need to set the credentials so in order to configure that uh, credential you can just go to 
uh, the Vantive configuration under the configuration menu. And here you can see the name and its merchant ID. And this would allow uh, you, you to use uh, processing the credit card transactions in the point of sale. And setting up of our Vantive uh, configuration will allow you to make payments with various credit cards, including Visa, MasterCard, uh, Discovery, and American Express and all. And after uh, setting up this, this would allow you to configure and associate with the point of sale payment methods. And uh, using this Mantif integration in the point of sale, it is easy uh, to express the transactions by chess using this payment method. Now here you can see the merchant ID and uh, its password. So let me configure that under the payment method. So you can choose a payment method and you can use a credential uh, over here. Okay, let me set this and let's create uh, another one also. So for that you can just click on new button and here you can give it as visa card let me set the name i mean identify the customer use the journalized bank and let me choose this permanent terminal as a dn and let me set an api key over here actually this i'm showing you a demo this is not a proper api uh, key and here you can also set a uh, terminal and if you want to just enable the uh, ADN test mode you can enable that you can also set a uh, outstanding account after that let me save this and configure this under the shop and yeah let's drag down and make it available under the shop and let me go to the shop and make payment with different payment methods and let's see the difference between each of them and let's finally open the shop and here you can set the opening balance let me open the shop and make a payment with different customers you can use different products so let me use the product as a questing block screen with a customer mm, let me choose it as Eli Lampard and here you can make the payment Okay, you can choose it as cash and let me validate this payment and let me create a new order right now with cabinet with door and you can choose a customer as BAP events and let's make a payment by choosing the payment method as bank and validate it. So we have done the payment and now you can choose another product which be uh yeah large meeting uh table and here you have to choose a customer like the customer be coin and let's make the payment while making the payment we are going to choose customer account so here the due amount will be four thousand for this customer because right now he won't be making the payment and let's click on validate and this would the customer would uh, I mean customer account would allow the customers to make purchase without making the instant payment and they can make the payment at any time as of their convenience and you can just click on new and you can just choose a product which is test combination and let me choose a customer right now what is a uh, dog glass and let's make a payment with Mastro as I have chosen Mastro as the payment which we have used the terminal as Vantive here in order to make the payment first we need to swipe the card with a swiping card machine that only we can make the payment and uh, we are waiting for the swipe so from here we can actually we cannot actually uh, do the payment without swiping and in order to swipe this we have to connect with a device and if you are trying to make a payment with visa card 
I'm like, okay, let me remove this and now let's try to make a payment with Visa card here. You can see the payment request is pending because first the payment request will be sent out to the customer and here authentication is failed because we have, haven't have said the API is proper. And once the customer will be receiving a request and after that they can make the payment. Uh, so, okay. Now, uh, let me uh, show the difference between the customer account and between TS terminals. For that, you can just close the session by setting the counted or expected um, cash as shown here. You can also set the counted uh, cash over here. So let me set it as the same amount. Now we can see the cash difference and the uh, the payment methods that is configured and you can see the amount in the bank and the amount in the customer account and we cannot make any payment with Mastro or Visa unless and until we have to connect with an external device or we have to configure the API properly. And yeah, now let me close the session. So as I have closed the session, that payment will be uh, posted there and you can see it under the partner lurcher in the accounting so you just dive into the accounting module and when you go to the reporting you can just take the reports of partner ledger and here we can see a uh, partner ledger now we need to filter it's based on receivable accounts and yeah here you can see the amount that is linked with the part i mean customer account and you can get every details regarding this and once you go back to the point of sale here you can see this isn't paid yet by the customer and he can make it uh, paid right off or at his convenient time so let's go back to the point of sale and let's open the session and let me choose a customer that is coin here you can see the opening balance right now uh, which we have set there and let me open the session and let me choose uh, the customer that is coin. And once you choose the customer, you can see the total due of the customer as he has uh, choose the payment method as customer account. He could make payment. So let me choose that and see the details there. So every details are shown here with his credit. And if we want to settle this, he can settle the amount by clicking on settle due accounts and he can choose the payment methods. So he is choosing right now the cash as the payment method and he can just validate his process. So he's currently going to make payment. So that's 10. So this is how we manage with the payment terminal and payment methods in Odo 16 point of sale. Thanks for watching the video.